Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to fix this error, which appears when updating Windows 10 operating system. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. There are several causes behind this error. Problems with the Internet connection or DNS service crash, driver failures in some of the system components, viruses, connections blocked by a firewall or the antivirus software, or incorrect functioning of network equipment. As you can see, there is a sufficient number of things to cause the trouble, but don't worry, we have several effective methods at hand to fix the error. The first thing to do is to check if you really have Internet access at the moment. There might be poor contact of the network cable connector or the network adapter, so have a closer look at them and make sure all connectors and cables stick firmly in their sockets. Restart the computer and the router. Disconnect all peripheral equipment such as USB drives, cameras, printers and the like from the computer. After each step, try updating the system. Also, there can be faults in providing the IP address. Compare the current IP address data with the data from your Internet provider. To do it, open the Run window by pressing Windows plus R key shortcut and run the command NCPA CPL. Then right-click on the network connection and select Properties. Go to IPv4 and check if the entered data is correct or try to obtain an IP address automatically. If the network data is set in the router itself, you need to check these router settings, and there is a video in our channel to watch and see how to do it properly. Find the link in the description. Another thing to help you is using alternate DNS. For this purpose, set the preferred DNS server value as 8888. For alternate DNS server, 8844. If the network connection is alright, try using the troubleshoot utility. Go to Settings, Update and Security, Troubleshoot, find Windows Update and click on Run the Troubleshooter. The system will start searching for errors and fixing them. When the process is over, you'll be offered to choose from several actions. Try disabling the antivirus and the firewall for the period of updating. Another cause to trigger this error when updating the operating system can be an outdated graphics driver or a driver for any other system component. Try updating it. You can watch one of our videos to see how to do it properly. The link is below the video as before. You can learn your graphics card model from the run window by pressing Windows plus R key shortcut and typing msinfo32 components display. You can watch another video on our channel to see how to do it properly and you can find all the links below. Use only official websites to, to update drivers. After they are updated, you should restart the computer. It's also worth updating drivers for other system components too. If all these tricks can't help you, try disabling updates for other applications. Open Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update, Advanced Options. In the window that opens, disable Give me updates for other Microsoft products when I update Windows. After that, restart the computer, go to Windows Update and click on Update. Install all the detected components and restart the computer again. Start the command prompt as administrator, type cmd in the search field, and then one by one run the commands for re registration of Windows Update libraries. Enable update for other products and see if there are any errors now. Microsoft Support recommends checking update possibilities regularly and wait until this error disappears. It may happen in a few days. Another solution that can help you is cleaning the cache. To do it, delete all contents from the folder Software Distribution, which you can find inside the Windows folder on your system drive. 
Open it, select everything and click on delete. Some files cannot be deleted that way because they are used by the operating system, so in that case just click skip. Then restart the system and enable the services again. When doing it, make sure your system drive has at least 20 GB of free space. If you don't have that much, clean the unnecessary files. There is a special video about cleaning the hard disk from junk files and you can find the link in the description as before. If you still can't update your operating system, try updating with a command prompt. Run it as administrator and type the command. Sometimes this command has to be used two or three times. One more way to go is to disable startup items. Open system configuration by typing its name in the search field. In the general tab choose selective startup and uncheck the box next to load startup items. Then in the services tab check the option hide all Microsoft services, click disable all and then apply. Then open task manager and disable all startup items. Restart the computer and try updating Windows again. To restore default settings, open the system configuration window and undo all the previous steps. In Task Manager, enable startup for applications. Also, you can use Microsoft Official Website to update your Windows. To do it, open the web page Download Windows 10. Find the link below and click on Update now to start downloading Windows 10 upgrade. Open this utility and try updating your operating system. Otherwise, you can download a utility to create an installation media, which you can see below in this website. Open it and choose Update now. If all these methods haven't helped you, your last option is to run system recovery or reset the computer. You can watch one of our videos to see how to do it properly and you can find all the links in the description below. Now that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!